Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you can always be notified when I do post. I post every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for today's video, I thought I would go ahead and give y'all a few tips on staying organized, especially when it comes to school. So that's my biggest, that's the biggest thing I try to stay organized with because obviously I don't work. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is also great if you do work and you just need to stay up to date with all these reminders. Rem uh, remember to do this and do that. Anything, especially when it comes to your work schedule. Okay, so number one, always have a planner a planner of any size any sort as long as it has the dates and room to write in go for it this way it's easy for you to see when you need to do something um what day of the week it falls on so you don't have to pull out your phone pull out that calendar look through all like no it's annoying so just get this um i personally keep this one at home just so i I can refer to it at all times, especially if I'm like before bed or in the morning, I'll just double check, make sure like the dogs aren't due for another shot or the dogs don't eat their um, flea and tick medication until this day, that day, when do I need refills, anything like that. It doesn't have to be school related, obviously. You just need to stay organized in your life, period. And this will make everything flow so much easier. Number two is always having um, a journal of some sort. It doesn't have to be obviously like these for certain, like um, these are just plain actually and I put stickers on them. This one's for biology because we started biology, this course with um, learning like the different flower parts and everything. So I thought that sticker was appropriate. And this is my personal journal and it has all my to-do list um, and just little reminders. So I could always have this with me just in case I need to um, write something down or remember what to get from the store or anything. But going back to school, um, you always want to have highlighters and sticky notes. So the highlighters I use on mostly homework or anything I print out, um, especially if it's a study guide or anything like that, I highlight the crap out of it. Um, but yeah, those are always great. I also use the highlighters in this. Oh wait wrong one this one because this is biology and i put my vocabulary in here so i highlight it all the time the key the keywords and then the sticky notes you always want to use them for um putting tabs on your on your textbooks just so you know where to go to this is definitely a time saver whenever another class assignment comes up like oh refer back to this um this poem so i'm just like looking through here and like okay so i don't have to like go to the whole index look for that blah, blah, blah. no just go and especially if it's color coded this one isn't color coded but that's not a big problem for me but this one i do keep color coded it is my biology book and it has three different colors you can see it has green blue and pink and they're color coded for different um objectives that we're learning so it'll be like four chapters and then an exam so whatever four chapters we're learning about before an exam i put those in a certain group and um i'll just color code them so it keeps everything very organized very easy to go to and refer back to but yeah i also put sticky notes next to my laptop um well in my laptop um next to my keyboard just so i always have like um what class I have and the different assignments that I do like I'll have the next three or four assignments and the due dates next to them just so whenever I do open up my laptop I can always remember okay you need to do this next you need to do that um and just check it off as you go always try to stay ahead um if you want to hear more about my online courses and what I think about that you can definitely refer back to my other video um I'll probably link the video in the description below but yeah definitely check that out but as far as staying organized, this is all you need. Just the highlighters, the sticky notes, and definitely get a planner or a notebook. You don't have to get both. If you want just a notebook or a planner, just get one. Um, but yeah, I, having both is pretty nice, especially when um, you have a stay-at-home uh, stay planner like this bad boy. You can always just use this little one to carry around. Because I like having a bigger one just because it has more room to write in. And yeah, 
and it kind of gives you like a broader overview of what you're gonna do that month if you have any parties planned uh, birthday parties you need to attend baby showers weddings whatever it may be um, you always have something written down and you can stay organized so that's all i got for this video so please be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe and hit that notifications icon so you can always be notified when i do post i post every tuesdays and thursdays at 4 p.m an occasional random video if i'm if i feel like it um but yeah so i hope y'all like this video and hopefully it helps y'all stay very <laughs>